uh, Bangladesh is expected to propose raising taxes and boosting spending in its annual budget Thursday that will serve as a test of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's prudent policy making over populism ahead of elections due next year. Uh, trying to balance the budget is not a choice for Hasina, but a requirement from the International Monetary Fund, which in January approved $4.7 billion to the South Asian nation. The funds tied to conditions such as widening tax revenue, reforming the financial sector, and removing subsidies couldn't have come at a more delicate time for the 75-year-old leader. He faces elections that analysts and critics say she's likely to win, though this contingent over rising living costs remains a risk. Asina insisted last week that Bangladesh was in a position to pay back the IMF loan, saying the lender only gives assistance to countries that can repay their bill. Uh, not all share that confidence. Uh, just days before Finance Minister AHM uh, Mustafa Kamal's budget presentation, Moody's Investor Services, cut Bangladesh's credit rating deeply into junk territory, uh, citing concerns of heightened external vulnerability and liquidity and risks. Uh, along with institutional weaknesses. Uh, Bangladesh is expected uh, to target a fiscal deficit uh, of 5.2 percent of gross domestic product uh, for the year uh, starting July 1st narrower uh, than the current year's shortfall. It was originally pegged at 5.4 percent uh, of GDP. Uh, Moody's expects the fiscal deficit uh, to remain around 5 percent to 5 percent over the next few years. Under the IMF program, Bangladesh has to raise the revenue to GDP ratio by 1.5 percentage points by the 2025-26 fiscal year to boost spending on social development and clinic projects. Uh, the Washington-based lender uh, also set a goal of the nation's tax revenue uh, to rise to 3.46 trillion taka, uh, $32 billion by June. Uh, however, the government has managed a collection of only $247 trillion. Uh, talk about in the 10 months through uh, April. Uh, uh, subsidy cuts are, are a major requirement for the INF program and the budget could provide more hits. Subsidies accounted for 12.2 percent uh, or 827.45 billion DACA of this year's budget and usually cover uh, electricity, food and agriculture. Uh, well, the government has already hiked electricity prices three times this year and uh, Hasina has said there's more to come uh, uh, consumer prices rose 9.24% uh, in April, uh, surpassing the government's target 5.6% uh, for this fiscal year and making the case for Kamal to set a higher estimate of 6.5% for, for a reason by regarding parents' uh, innocence. And uh, While the new target takes into account the gradual removal of subsidies, higher inflation could well become a political headache for Hasina and her government. Uh, the largest opposition group, the Bangladesh Nationalist Party, continued street protests uh, for months over the soaring costs of living, blaming it on the government's economic mismanagement and demanding that Hasina step down to make way for a caretaker government. The budget will seek a path for the economy to expand by 7.5 percent next fiscal year and eventually graduate from being the least developed country in 2026. Uh, the government had initially targeted that pace of growth this year, uh, but paired it to 6.5 percent as Russia's prolonged war in Ukraine raised food and fuel costs and weakened all the global economy.